All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 13 of Mushika Tensei, which is called Missed Connections. And I really wonder if the title refers to what I think it's referring to, which is that we're going to get this reunion, hopefully, with Roxy, right? I mean, we know she's literally in the same city right now that Rudius finds himself in. We saw her actually spying on Eris, or spying, I don't know if that's the, <laughs> maybe a bit dramatic, but you get what I'm talking about. She was literally, yeah, overlooking there the fight that Rujat had with. Uh, with Eris. And I wonder, I mean, she didn't see at that point Rudius among them, but I wonder, because I think she would have announced uh, her presence if that was the case. What I do wonder about is like, does she know Eris? Does she, she I think she was supposed to know that Rudius, um, yeah, was guiding her back in Roa, right? So she also probably knows, well, she knows about them having disappeared. That's the whole reason why she came looking for them, of course. So I'm sure that she knows about errors going missing as well, right? That must be the case. So she's going to continue following these guys, and she's going to automatically therefore run into Rudius now too, I would think. But um, yeah, that's 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 the big question. Is that going to happen this episode already or or not? Yeah, last episode, I myself just came off of it. Once again, introduced a couple of really interesting plot points there. Um, we have the the god figure once again guiding us and making sure that we came in contact with Kishirika Kishirisu or whatever the hell she's called, <laughs> the demon emperor, who I really wonder what her deal was going to be, but seems like uh, seems like she's basically out of the picture for a while now again. She gave Rudius, of course, the demon eye, and that allows him to look into the future, which for now has basically only translated to being able to see attack moves and stuff coming a couple seconds in advance, right? I wonder if we're going to be able to upgrade that thing and actually have it help us with making, like, really impactful decisions in the future, too. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh, should I sell the staff now or not? That's, for example, one thing that's that's currently, um, um, yeah, a big deal. It's like, we need money, basically, right? And Rudius was figuring to go sell his staff in order to do so. Um, Rujat actually did end up allowing him to do that, but then we ran into the smuggler guy, Gallus, I think he was called, who earlier Rudius had basically saved because there was like a vase that was dropping and Rudius saw it with his, with his new demon eyes and so he pushed the guy away and stuff. And so now, yeah, the guy basically owes us, I guess. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, he, he looks like a typical smuggler figure, which Rudius was thinking about going to smugglers to sell the staff. So I don't know if he's going to want to buy it from us, I actually think he's going to offer us a different way to get the money, most likely. So that's what I'm looking forward to to finding out about. Um, other than that, I think that basically covers just about, yeah, what we saw in the last episode. So I'm looking forward to seeing how things exactly play out. What's going to be the deal with Roxy and our companions as well, especially. Because we've seen a, a little bit of them now, but it's like, okay, who actually are these guys? They knew Paul, right, from back in the days. So I guess they were actually former gang members of the one gang, I forget the name of the gang, but like that Paul and Zenith found themselves in along with Ghislaine, right? Um, another big mystery for the time being is like what actually happened to Ghislaine because she didn't end up in the same place that Eris and uh, Rudius did. So yeah, guys, lots of stuff going on in Mushka Tensei right now. I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it all comes together. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to the show, you can already watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're already going to be on episode 21. So we'll almost be done with the first season. Go and check it out right now. Full-length versions will, of course, be up there too. If you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety, your support is very much appreciated and, of course, allows me to make these videos in the first place. So keep that in mind. And then for now, let's dive into episode 13. Oh, God. I don't think he's into man sweat. Alina Lisa. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I see what kind of type she is. Rudy is won't mind it. He's probably not looking for a kid like that, though. Oh, man. Dressed up for the occasion. Wow, this is just like Rudy as a couple episodes back. <laughs> it really is. 
Oh, wow. Get on my level, bitch. Underestimating her just like Rudy's parents. Who are, who are you... Fumbling? Fiddling? What's the word? Oh, whatever. そういえば、お二人は心の牙の元メンバーだったのですよね。昔のパウロさんってどんな感じだったのでしょう。クズじゃな。いや、いわすか。そんなこと言いつつ。Everyone <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Alina Lisa would have minded it <laughs> that much, but <laughs> keeps introducing herself. Oh my god, what to a bunch of men in back alleys as well? You are asking for trouble right now. <laughs> Yo, the guy was like, I can't believe this shit. Oh my god, what is she doing? God damn! Is it possible to be this thirsty? I don't think so. That's a little bit dramatic. Well, I guess Roxy is about to be in for a reality check too regarding Rujot. Oh my god, that's, that, that's... Yep. All she can think about. <laughs> Mad dog. Yeah, so does she know about Eros or not? Interesting, so she did not... Yeah, I guess she did not recognize Eris. Damn. A year already. We've been doing all these quests for a goddamn year? I guess the traveling took a long time too. Hmm. Well, yeah. The question is, are they all going to be separated or... Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe so. I would have figured that Zenith and Lilia and the kid were at least going to be together, but maybe not. Yep, running into them again. Because this is where they love to practice. Oh, wait, it was before. This was last episode, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> right. She's, she's going to be in for a rude awakening. Those, those spare don't have to be too bad. Oh my god. It's the same couple that Rudy has heard. Yo. Yo. Oh god. It's. Of course, this is who Rudy has heard. Jesus Christ. Yo. <laughs> I'm not even... Yo, yo, this was a full-on fucking gangbang. Jesus Christ. I... <laughs> this show, man. This character. <laughs> uh, I think she's still satisfied with the result. A passionate invitation. <laughs> Damn. 
ちょっとフェアロマンティックだ。オッケー。イギスオンアローボートゴイングトゥアビッグシップ。ガルスはルイジェルドを運んでくれた。ああ。代わりに残党ポートに着いた時とある密輸品を開放するのが条件だ。な
So that's what they 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 are supposed to do in the middle of all these. Yeah, gods here. Not really the kind of tactic Rudius usually wants to resort to. Yeah. I don't think you have much of a choice, though. Yeah, they're not just gonna let him out peacefully. <laughs> he literally has to talk himself into the mindset of like, we can kill him. He's saying, leave it to me? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, he's the real one. Yeah, his hair grew back a little in the meantime. Oh man. Damn, dude. Oh my god. They really sound like cats. Hissing at him. Oh, protecting the one that died as well. So sad, honestly. No, no. Dude, just focus on your mission, man. It's not that difficult. Paying respects. Mm. <laughs> all that learning languages came in handy after all. Yeah, they're gonna trust them real fast now, also with Rujo, you know, being so nice to the the one that died. Yeah, just don't look. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah, w right, it was the dog that we came across. I'd already forgotten about it. That's such nice white fur. Oh, there's a barrier around it or something. Yeah, I, I noticed already the symbol below him. Kind of looks like alchemy or whatever, right? It helps that I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist at the moment as well. <laughs> oh, that was like a crystal hanging up there. <laughs> a wife and a <laughs> wait, a wife and a husband? What did you just say? I'm cool with it as long as it doesn't turn in, into another Alexander situation. Speaking of Full Metal Alchemist. So there was an enemy left still. Great job, Rujot. Oh. It's a whole tribe. Fondling with a lewd grin, yeah. <laughs> you know, I have to defend them when it comes to that. Oh, they think he's part of it. He literally came out to rescue it. He just rescued all the beast people too. God, now he's going to be captured by them. Ending up in a whole different city again. Is this like an island that they're on or where are we? Damn, 
Damn, man. Well, more trouble. Great. Alright, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, of course, you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page. Which is going to be linked on top of the description. Check it out. Wow, man. Yeah, that episode sure was pretty damn heavy on the fan service. <laughs> oh, man. That character, Alina Lisa. Jesus Christ. She resorts to some interesting methods to, you know, try and get information out of people. But, um... There's, like, there really isn't all that much to say about this episode. For the most part, it was just, uh, yeah, very interesting when it came to that, for sure. Uh, we have, of course, I mean, we're basically, once again, finding ourselves in a whole bunch of trouble, right? Managed to find a way to get Rujit actually on the ship and stuff, but now we have to pay back for it by rescuing these beast people, which did go right in the end, but then it was the dog that they desperately wanted as well that got us into trouble again. And now there's a whole different tribe picking us up, um... And by us, I, of course, just mean Rudius, right? But and now I guess we're going to have to get rescued by Rujit again. But what is this tribe going to be about in the first place, right? And um, it's kind of sad because it's like, dude, this episode made clear how Roxy was so close to actually finding us. She was in the same city, right? I mean, we, <laughs> we heard this. <laughs> it turned out that the character we heard having sex last episode was Alina Lisa, right? Which uh, we then saw in this episode again. So... They were that close to actually getting back in contact. And then now we're off again. And uh, Roxy will have to, yeah, find a way to track us back, I guess. But other than that, again, I think that basically covers the entire episode. Um, I, I enjoyed it a lot, though. I will say that. <laughs> and as much as you see me making fun sort of of those kinds of scenes, it's like, yeah, it's kind of hilarious too, right? <laughs> I mean, it makes it stand out from any of the anime that I've watched so far. I will say that, so... Uh, I can only appreciate it. But with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction and review to episode 13 of Mushika Tensei. If you did, then of course you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're already going to be on episode 21, so go get, go and catch up on all of it straight away. Full-length versions will be up there too, of course, if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. But then with that being said, I want to thank you all a lot for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you back in the next episode.